Following all that very closely to Senator uh, Roger Marshall right now, the uh, Kansas Republican uh, senator. Good to have you, Senator. Um, it, it's interesting the timeline they're looking at and that if everything goes their way, they might be able to pull this off. Is it fair to say, as Chad was touching on, albeit a remote possibility that these two huge packages are combined, that every bit of Republican support, certainly for the infrastructure only package, would be lost? Neil, we've got him on the run, but first of all, welcome back. I want you to know we missed you every afternoon between 4 and much. 6 p.m. We try to get a workout in the gym. We have you on one of our TVs and Larry Kudlow on the other, and we missed you. Yeah. But look, we, 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 we do have them on the, on the run, right? I said months ago on this show that the Democrats would be jammed by that small bipartisan infrastructure bill, and that's exactly what's happening. I think Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin are working circles around Speaker Pelosi. It's like She's lost her fastball. They're showing her how the hog eats the cabbage. She's, they've jammed her on this one. But I want your listeners need to know is that Kirsten and Joe are representing the states that they come from, that Arizonans and West Virginians did not send Kirsten or Joe to Washington, D.C. to turn this uh, economy into a big government socialism. Most, most, most Americans still believe in this economic freedom and prosperity. You know, they're still likely to support the final measure, which might be in the one and three quarter trillion uh, range. That's not exactly chicken feed. <laughs> no, at the end of the day, this is still big government socialism taking over our economy. No one's really talked about the tax policy yet. Or what do these tax policies look like going forward? And still, no matter what bottom line number they give you, I'll still bet you a Coke that we end up spending seven or ten trillion dollars over the next ten years. We can do better than a Coke, Senator. But I, all right, let me ask you this if we step way back. If they get this through, uh, a lot of tax increases are going to go through raising the top rate, albeit at a very, very high level, to about 45 percent. You throw in Medicare surcharges and the like. You're really talking about a 50 percent top rate at only the federal level. I'm not even including state taxes and other taxes that will be that prohibitively in some states over 60 percent. Um, what do you think of that? Big government socialism, right? Raising our taxes so they can redistribute income. And, and again, they could talk about an alternative minimum tax for, for C cores or raising that number. Consumers are gonna, gonna bear 70% of that on their back. I'm much more concerned about stepped up basis, about taxing capital gains as ordinary income, taxing dividends as ordinary income. At the end of the day, grab your wallet, they're coming after it, right? Senator, thank you very much. Thank you for the kind words as well, sir. Senator Roger Marshall, a beautiful state of, of Kansas.